Hey everyone, this is Graphic back with another video, and today Andrew Gower actually put out a new tweet that we definitely want to talk about, and there's a reason that they've done what they've done, and they kind of mentioned that here in this post. So on Steam, they've actually talked about their per-episode combat professions. So one aspect of Brighter Shore's design, which has resulted in a lot of discussion, has been our decision to separate combat professions per episode. So I thought I should explain our reasoning to this. Basically, what they end up saying is that they want you to have that new experience every time a new episode comes out. So you're level one and you're leveling up again for the first time. And it feels good. It's fun to have that new noob experience every single time a new episode comes out. And that's what they're saying. But they also are saying that any new player doesn't feel left behind because if they get to episode five, even though they're down tons of levels, everybody's starting out at level one profession across the board. And that's going to make them feel a little better and uh, it'll be a little more fun for them as well. So that's the understanding I got from this whole, the reason of the design. It makes sense as you quickly get through some of the episodes so you can get to the end game and then you can actually pick what you want to do. And again, it, it's a great way to really talk about leaderboards as well as, you know, if you want to go for leaderboards, you're going to be maining one skill anyway. A bunch of really interesting stuff here. So if you want to read more about the reason for the design, definitely take a look at uh, the Steam post. If we go a little farther, they talk about please give it a chance. So I should also mention that all of our testing has shown that once you get used to it, unlocking a fresh combat profession once in a while becomes quite fun. The earliest levels of profession are generally the most fun as you level up much more quickly. And it's all new and fresh. So that's, again, what they're talking about is the new and fresh feel from leveling up uh, at right at the beginning. Um, but I want to talk about this specifically. This was where the meat of it all was. So based on the feedback of those who find reduced prominence of their Hope Port professions while in Hope Forest disconcerting, uh, we are proposing to make a few changes. So we already have made the first change, and that's going to be a nice one. A lot of people have already seen this. It's where you have now your total level across all professions and all episodes above your head. So you actually kind of better emphasize what you've all done, um, and it shows that you did not obviously reset. Another thing that we saw, and this was a suggestion from me, many others, and then it was on Reddit, I believe, as well, so I don't know where he saw it, but we saw a player suggestion that we could add some special content that relies on multiple combat levels to complete. For example, a boss monster that you need to be both a high-level guard and a high-level scout to defeat. We think that this is a great idea, and we will be definitely looking at adding content of this nature in the future. We obviously need to better communicate our breadth and depth system. Not only are people left thinking that once they move on to episode 2, their guard skill will forever be useless, and it really won't, but some people are also trying to complete all episode 1 side quests before even starting episode 2 and finding it way too grindy. First thing I'll say, guys, it's very obvious that this game is not meant for you to jump into episode one and actually complete those side quests. That is so far out of reach for most of us, uh, people that aren't playing, you know, 24 hours a day. And I will say, if we actually look at um, their idea of bossing, this sounds amazing. Uh, we've already talked about bosses in the past. We like some of the bosses in the side quests and the main quest already. So why are we not going to have content like bossing? Well, that's the whole thing is we are going to have content like bossing, it sounds like, and they're going to take advantage of the system of bringing kind of two combats to get together to make it actually required to do some of these bosses. And that sounds great to me. Um, and then the last thing that we're going to talk about is they need to communicate this better. And a lot of people don't know that these episodes are useful later on. And that's something that we saw a lot in our uh, YouTube comment section is people just don't understand that you can always go back to these episodes and there's actually reasons to go back to these episodes so that you can complete some of these professions um, and not even complete them, but you know, use them to actually get some of those things you need. So, uh, and he talks about that a little bit better here, but I will say the area in zone idea is definitely what he needs to do. He needs to change the idea of episode to area or zone and people won't really think of it as a, you know, linear progression system where you actually forget and reset your previous profession. So that's my take on it. I just want to give you guys an update. I don't know if you guys are seeing all these things when they get updates. So I'll probably give you update videos when they do go out. Um, but again, the one thing I will note here is I really hope with combat professions, you can still main one combat because I don't want them to say, hey, you have to have Hope Port level 50 and you have to have, uh, let's say you have to have Hope Port level 50 and Chronopolis level 50 combat. I don't love that idea. I love the idea of saying, hey, you have to have a total combat level from these two areas of 100 because that gives you the option to kind of main one if you want to main one instead of, uh, you know, happening to kind of have these level requirements that uh, split perfectly. So that's my thoughts. That's my take. So if you guys haven't already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. And I'll see you guys all in brighter shores.